Uh, Robbie, your thoughts on that pre-season run out against Barnsley? Yeah, it's just it's another good run out for us against a very strong team. You gotta you gotta think they were a couple of games away from playing in the Premier League uh, last year, and um, you haven't lost many of the players. Alex Mort's left, but not many more, I don't think. So, yeah, really good run out for us. Tough challenge, um, but we could take positives and we could take negatives out of it. It's a typical pre-season game. I know you said previously that these first few games are about building up fitness and making sure players can get through pre-season unscathed. Was that sort of the thinking behind playing two different teams in both halves again? Yeah, so the guys have already put a, a plan together in terms of that, but in fairness, I'd have done the same thing. Um, they're almost um, glorified trading games. Um, you know, we can have them in-house, but it's so much more competitive against another team. Um, so I know that the, the players tick the boxes in terms of that will get better no doubt about it um, so yeah it, overall it was a, a very worthwhile afternoon for us well it's only been two days that you've managed to work with the players so far but did you start to see things that you want to implement or is it still a case of getting those ideas across on the training ground oh yeah it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time um, but the players are, are really open to that and um, like I say it's uh, when you when you're working with two different teams and two different shapes because of personnel, it's, it can be difficult. But all I really asked for the players today was the application, uh, do the right things at the right time, and decision making. And I think more times than not, we got that right. We did get, didn't get it right all the time, but um, like I said, there's there's lots to do in the in, in from now to the start of the season. A name that appeared on the, the second half team sheet was Paul McShane, who obviously had left the club at the end of last season, but he's been back in sort of training with the lads recently, has he? Yeah, so um, Paul um, I, I had come to an agreement with the previous um, manager that he, he could train, um, keep his fitness. I see no reason not to honour that. You know, I think that's fair on him if that was agreed before I came in. And he's a fantastic character, a great professional, and there's, there's no issues with that from my point of view. In terms of the pre-season schedule, it's obviously been a, a tough start in terms of the opposition, Luton, Barnsley, they've got Fleetwood and Rotherham to come. Will, will that stand us in good stead, do you hope, going into the season? Yeah, I think if you can come away being competitive in, the, in those games, definitely. Um, you know, We're not going to come across the standard of play that we played, especially in that first half in League Two. It's just not going to happen. Um, but we were competitive, so, so that's good. Um, and again, the tick boxes all through every game in pre-season is to make sure that we do the right things at the right times and we're getting there. And next Saturday, next up is uh, Fleetwood Town at home and we'll hopefully see this place sort of uh, at least as full as it can be in terms of restricted capacity and the supporters will get to see your team in action for the first time. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing the, the supporters back in. I'm, I'm sure it's been uh, on their minds for a long time to, to try and get back into the ground. So hopefully they enjoy the day everybody's safe and happy and um, you know the players put on a, a good performance for them.